Following the collapse of a former coal washing facility in Martin County, the search continues for one of the workers who was inside at the time of its collapse. Crews have continued uh, to search uh, throughout the night, uh, going under the rubble. Uh, we were not able to locate uh, the second worker at, the, at this point. Uh, after much uh, discussion and meetings and analysis of, on the ground, uh, they've decided to change to a different phase uh, of the rescue uh, to where we actually move into removing layers uh, of, the, uh, of the rubble to try to uh, see if we can find that, uh, the, the missing worker. We haven't given up hope. It remains a rescue operation of uh, still th of this morning at this, at this time, and uh, we pray that, uh, that those uh, efforts will be successful. You want to save money, and Appalachian Wireless gets that. Right now, you can get up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and the greatest on the Advantage Unlimited plan with a trade-in. Did y'all hear me? Up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and greatest with a trade-in. Now, I'm not a math whiz, but this deal, it's amazing. And you'll be on the region's premier network. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for complete terms and conditions. After exhausting all measures in the primary search, including searching all accessible voids and sites dogs indicated, the decision was made to bring in heavy equipment. Uh, we knew that we were going to have to go into this next phase with this with a lot of heavy equipment, so we began ordering that yesterday. Uh, a lot of it came on site yesterday evening. We're, we're going to continue to get some of that heavy equipment um, from even outside of the state of Kentucky that's already in the process of getting here. Um, we're going to attack it from several different areas. Uh, we've, we're assigning our search groups to these. Uh, when we pick things off the pile, that's our primary search uh, that we did yesterday. We're actually gonna put the debris in a pile, assign a rescue group to it, um, do a secondary search on that to make sure that it doesn't have any clue of a last known location of the victim that we're actually looking for. So it's a very methodical process. It's a very slow process, um, but it's a process that has to take, take place in order to get down into the building, um, again, where that last known location was. Stay tuned to Mountaintop News for updates as the search continues. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.